Welcome to my channel. This time, I will be showing you the different components or parts of an engine. This is under farm machinery and mechanization. But before that, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell. We begin with our cylinder. It is a part of the engine which confines the expanding gases and forms the combustion space. It provides space in which piston operates to suck the air or air-fuel mixture. Usually made of high-grade cast iron. Next, our cylinder block. It is the solid casting body which includes the cylinder and water jackets cooling fins in the air-cooled engines. Next, our cylinder head. It is a detachable portion of an engine which covers the cylinder and includes the combustion chamber, spark plugs or injector and valves. Next, our cylinder liner or sleeve. It is a cylindrical lining either wet or dry type which is inserted in the cylinder block to which the piston slides. Cylindrical liners are classified as dry liner or wet liner. Next, our piston. It is a cylindrical part closed at one end. It is connected to the connecting rod by a piston pin. Cast iron is chosen due to its high compressive strength. Aluminum and its alloys preferred mainly due to its lightness. Next, our piston head or crown and skirt. First, our piston head or crown. It is the top of the piston. Second, skirt. It is the portion of the piston below the piston pin which is designed to absorb the side movements of the piston. Next, our piston ring. It is a split expansion ring, placed in the groove of the piston. Its function are as follows. It forms a gas-tight combustion chamber for all positions of the piston. It reduces contact area between cylinder wall and piston wall. It prevents friction loss and excessive wear. Controls cylinder lubrication. Next, our piston pin. It is also called wrist pin or gudgeon pin. Piston pin is used to join the connecting rod to the piston. Next, our crankshaft. It is the main shaft of an engine which converts the reciprocating motion of the piston into rotary motion of the flywheel. Usually the crankshaft is made of drop forged steel or cast steel. The space that supports the crankshaft in the cylinder block is called main journal. The part to which connecting rod is attached is known as crank journal. Crankshaft is provided with counterweights throughout its length to have counterbalance of the unit. Next, our flywheel. Flywheel is made of cast iron. Its main functions are as follows. It stores energy during power stroke and returns back the energy during the idle. The rear surface of the flywheel serves as one of the pressure surfaces for the clutch plate. Engine timing marks are usually stamped on the flywheel, which helps in adjusting the timing of the engine. Sometimes the flywheel serves the purpose of a pulley for transmitting power. Next, camshaft. It is a shaft which raises and lowers the inlet and exhaust valve at proper times. It is driven by crankshaft by means of gears, chains or sprockets. The speed of the camshaft is exactly half the speed of the crankshaft in four-stroke engine. Camshaft operates the ignition timing mechanism, lubricating oil pump and fuel pump. It is mounted in the crankcase, parallel to the crankshaft. Next, timing gear. Timing gear is a combination of gears, one gear of which is mounted at one end of the camshaft and the other gear at the crankshaft. Camshaft gear is bigger in size than that of the crankshaft gear and it has twice as many teeth as that of the crankshaft gear. For this reason, this gear is commonly called half-time gear. Timing gear controls the timing of ignition, timing of opening and closing of valve as well as fuel injection timing. Next, inlet manifold. It is the part of the engine through which air or air-fuel mixture enters into the engine cylinder. It is fitted by the side of the cylinder head. And lastly, the exhaust manifold. It is the part of the engine through which exhaust gases go out of the engine cylinder. 
It is capable of withstanding high temperature of burnt gases. And that is now the list of some of the components or parts of an engine. If you want to watch more educational videos about farm machinery and mechanization, kindly visit the description box. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell before you exit.